Now, I have to ask this. Is it true that when you were younger and someone would call your parents' house and got the answer machine, they would pick you up in the background singer from the shower? That is true. Uh, <laughs> My mom was not the best at operating the answer machine, and right. she actually recorded me singing in the shower. <laughs> and it was on there for years because she uh, wasn't real great about changing it. Either. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, the two songs you perform, um, Your Love is Lifting Me Higher and You Will Always Be, how did you come to write those? Wow. Um, every song really on this album uh, is special to me because it really has a lot of me in the songs. Um, I got most of the inspiration for these songs on this album when I was in going through the hardest time in my life. Um, circumstances were such that I ended up uh, having to make a decision to raise three small children mm -hmm. on my own. Um, it was a hard time. I was dealing with a lot of depression, um, you know, you're, you're concerned about your future, their right. future, right. Um, what's going to happen. And um, I really drew close to the Lord during that time. Previous to that, I think I had been a little uh, complacent, but, you know, mm -hmm. a life-changing catastrophic event like that, it really uh, makes you take stock. So I think that's where the inspiration comes from. Oh, wow. What struggles have you faced as being a Christian artist? Um, I think you always feel uh, the pull of the world a little bit. You know, I would also say that um, a lot of people may not think so, but Christian music is a, is a hard thing uh, oh, to break into, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's just a totally, it's a different market, uh, but it's yet very competitive. So I would think those are the, the challenges that I face along the way. And then, you know, and uh, my heart has always been worship first and foremost. Mm -hmm. So, um, and being an independent artist is, is a little different from that, yet a lot of similarities. So worship, as been said, is the highest form of prayer. All right. So for me, I take my call very seriously, first and foremost. Um, you know, I, that was the first thing that the Lord brought me to. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those things that I really, I pour myself into. You know, I look at when I get up on the stage and we start out doing a worship set, that's my responsibility mm -hmm. to bring the people mm -hmm. in the congregation into an atmosphere of worship. And, you know, worship sets the tone for everything else that's going to take place in the service and you know a lot of times you can bypass uh, a person's uh, mind and, right. and reach straight into their spirit right. Right. Uh, through music and especially uh, through worship uh, when the anointing is on it and you know and I'd like to think that I, I carry that uh, anointing into my uh, music as well you know when I write mm -hmm. songs um, you know, a lot of times I'll spend time uh, in worship, in prayer, uh, meditating on scripture mm -hmm. uh, when I get an idea for a song. Mm -hmm. So I think it all uh, kind of works together.